Hi, I'm Reinhard from the German YMCA and I have the pleasure uh, to have a short chat with Johan, who is the General Secretary of the European YMCA concerning the upcoming international conference in Germany with the topic cross-cultural, the inclusive mission of the YMCA. So thank you, Johan. My first question would be for sure, is this really a relevant topic for the YMCA? Thank you, Reinhard. Thank you. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure uh, 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 to be with you and talk about this topic. That uh, yes, I uh, think it's uh, absolutely relevant. It is in the international context of the YMCA, but also in the local level of the YMCA. Okay. It helps. Uh, it can help. It mm -hmm. and it really does to connect the international reality with the local reality of the YMCA, any YMCA in any country. So it's actual, is relevant, and it, and it has an impact. Okay. One main aspect of cross-cultural um, issue might be the topic of migration. Now you're coming from Spain and I guess you have quite a lot of experience with this topic. Yes, uh, you're totally right. Uh, Spain has been one of the countries that has seen an increase in the number of uh, migrants, newcomers, mainly coming from uh, Northern African countries mm -hmm. and uh, Sub-Saharan countries also in Latin America over the last 15, 20 years. And that has helped the YMC also uh, uh, redefine mm -hmm. uh, their uh, 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 type of programs, including young people, children, women mm -hmm. from these uh, 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 other cultures mm -hmm. and even religion, uh, including them in our, in our programs. Can you share one example of perhaps even a best practice program the Spanish YMCA is running in uh, this context? I would say that uh, uh, one example is the program that uh, YMCA Spain is developing in five local associations mm -hmm directly relating with uh, young people, uh, children and women coming from uh, countries like Morocco. They would come and they would uh, not only learn Spanish mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, receive help with their homework okay. if they are at school, but also providing work opportunities and uh, uh, to women mm -hmm. in terms of helping them to improve their curriculum so that they can go out and uh, find their jobs in the community. This has been strongly supported by public and private institutions in Spain founded, uh, uh, the, uh, that, that founded these programs over the last 10 years. Wow, uh, sounds impressive. Mm -hmm. Coming back to the international conference, mm -hmm. Um, when you think about this conference, what are your expectations or wishes for the participants? My expectations uh, and wishes are uh, uh, extremely positive. I had the privilege of participating in last year's conference, uh, international conference, and it was uh, uh, inspiring to see the uh, uh, amount of young people uh, uh, not only taking part actively, but also leaving the conference with a sense of they will be a, a ready to act, mm -hmm. to make some social transformation in the communities in the local YMCAs they belong to, not only because they were given the tools, but they were also uh, 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 given the space to participate mm -hmm. actively, uh, providing ideas and, uh, and uh, methods of work during the conference. So I strongly uh, uh, recommend and I strongly uh, uh, emphasize the importance of taking part of this conference. So thank you, Joan. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.